What was it like to move from addressing the water crisis in a scientific way to becoming a public persona? It's one and the same to me. As a pediatrician, it's literally in my job description to be an advocate. Um, so we are clinicians, we are scientists, we are educators, but one of the many hats we wear is to be an advocate. Kids um, don't vote, hopefully we can get them to vote, but uh, you know, it's, it is our role to use our voices in our communities, to work hand in hand with our community partners to elevate the voices of children. Um, so you know, I was doing my job and I continue to do my job, um, not only um, advocating for Flint kids, but, but kids everywhere. How do you reassure parents whose children have tested high for lead? Yeah, so it's not even about testing high for lead. It's just being part of this crisis that we're in. This crisis is in Flint is so much more than just about lead. It's, it's a trauma. It's a trauma of betrayal and, and distrust and anxiety and fear and guilt and stress. Um, lead is one of the many factors of, of this crisis. Um, and that's probably the most, most common question I get asked from families is, is my kid going to be okay? Are we going to be okay? What's going to happen to my child? And we do what we do best as pediatricians, which is a lot of reassurance. It's a lot of hand holding, it's a lot of rapport building, um, it's a lot of getting families and children connected to services that we know will, will promote their development and, and their children's future. Um, so I tell families um, that your child is by and large going to be okay. Surround them with whatever you were already going to do. Love them, talk to them, read to them, sing to them, put them in high quality preschool. Um, you know, come visit me often so we can get them checked out. If you have any concerns, come back. So. It is doing absolutely everything that families are supposed to be doing anything anyways to promote their children's development, but, but there is quite a bit of anxiety, um, which we are very much trying to, um, to mitigate.